and overclocked it. And then you, you, first of all, you have to get the K or the Z version to actually have the option. Then you have to add a CPU fan and potentially a liquid cooler. So you're putting maybe $150, $200 extra in your PC compared to the non-overclocked version. So the scenario is, let's say that you end up with the highest performing i7-7700 ever in the Passmark database. The best one ever produced in existence that they've tested, okay? Which according to Passmark is 13,072. And this is not gigahertz, mind you. This is the Passmark statistic, which I don't know what this is measuring, flips or flops or something like that. You know what I'm talking about, Duke? Yep. And then he says, on the other hand, if you took the i7-7700 out of the, and didn't overclock it, it's native Passmark score, regardless of how low the game